That first delivery by Jihad bowling now from the school end of this oval. Clearly, the intent would have been communicated by the Nigerian bench in that needed cooling break. 7.3 required from now. He goes big this time. Will he find the Fuda? Fuda comes around it. It is the needed boundary. And it's six. This one goes all the way. Straight away, two deliveries, eight runs from it. They have to find that big over. Never been in a situation where you know the coach is giving you the license along with your captain to say, go for it. It's Dan Larry Isaac, the man who's doing the damage. Kneels on to that one and will ensure this one flew away. Another big one. He comes for the quicker one. Will he get a second? No. It's just one of the DG. Who now has the business to continue? Nine from eight already. Three balls board. Nice shot. They will want two from that one. Few that comes around it. No is the call. A bit of fumbling there, but do not take chances at this point. Ten from that over already. And two deliveries left. This is how positive you have to approach this chase if you are a Nigerian in that dugout. This is good thinking from this moment. Brilliant shot this time. Just a single, perhaps. Will they get a second? Yes, they go for it. Sloppy field in there at the boundary. 11 from that over. That brings us to the end of the 11th over, and it's 61 for two. You go back and you want to look at the over by over comparison. And at the end of 11 overs in the first innings, Namibia won 45 for 4. 16 runs better is what Nigeria have. And they also two wickets better. But it's not all over. A lot of cricket to be played in this match. Whoever bats deep all holds onto the pressure will uh, stroll to the victory lane here. Plenty of facility investment back home for these national team players. Innocent, did we mention to you the cricket lab in Lagos is opened up for youngsters to come through. Brilliant shot this time through the covers. Will they get two? Yes, they'll take the field that on. Shesua Dedeji just ensuring that things are going through this one. When you work hard, when you get the time to practice as hard as you can and play quality games, you can only get better as you go along. Now it's Sean. Who's bowling to Shesua Dedeji. He comes down the wicket with we'll jab a single. They want the second one. Oh no. They didn't run that one quick. It's three from two. Uncalled for perhaps. Proper cricket shots keeps you in this game. He knows it. Disappointment for the Nigerian bench. It's Dan Laddie would decide. Departs trying to improvise. Not necessary. 
You're batting beautifully. Just carry your team along. No pressure whatsoever. And it's a needed break for Namibia. And 64 for three. Young grid one, a lot on his shoulders now. We're strolling here. My, oh, my. You have this in your hands and you're giving it back. Dan Larry Isaac would not forgive himself at the end of this game. He's batting beautifully. I would hand Namibia that wicket. Read one. And believe me, you, he was batting very well and looked like he was uh, unbogable, unremovable. But he gifted his wicket away with the bowling at his mercy. Isaac Dan Ladi. I can tell you, it could be the game changer and Nigeria will rule a missed chance here. Chiki from the batter, better from the batter. Four runs, leading edge down the line to the vacant region of third man. Four runs to the total. You see that wicket and you see this shot and you ask yourself what went wrong? What were you thinking? The bowler wasn't threatening. Dan Larry, he's batted nicely and gave it away. Let's hope that Red One will carry through. That's it. Just a simple dab there. Understanding the awareness that there is no dead man. Now the Namibians will have to think this one through. However, it's seven runs already from that over. Take that wicket up, it would have been a pretty place to be. But let's see how things pan out here. It is Red One versus Sean. Red One giving it a full face. Was there in the zone, but in the end of the sense, he got a boundary. He blocks a certain half volley here. He could have hit it anywhere he wanted. Brilliant shot this one through. Midwicket region that will get a single. And that brings us to the end of that over. It is eight runs from it. The score now moves to 69 for three after 12 overs. Brilliant to see these pitches here in Accra. What a way to start a redeemed cricket culture here. These facilities will have to be utilized. And when you move around the region, West Africa, now we have two here. And of course, we have about five in Nigeria, two in Abuja, two in Benin, and two in Lagos. And one ongoing in Kaduna with a beautiful indoor facility there in Lagos by Crick Lab and a partnership with NCF. Some touring facilities there, perhaps. And tell me what, there's cricket all over West Africa. They must take advantage of those facilities. But now today, it's Nigeria versus Namibia on a neutral ground. And I'll tell you, it's all for the take today. It's 69 for three into the last eight of us. All Namibia will try to do here is keep things simple and wait for Nigeria to make the mistakes. Three mistakes already made by Nigeria. The last one there will hurt the most. Red one, Abdul Karim almost uh, giving it back to the bowler here. Young ball. Young man, red one. Good head on his shoulders, big brains. From a captain of the under 19, young yellow greens. He's got work to do here for the senior team, though. Touch and go. The Nigerians will be watching and watching many guys from the 4 o'clock club in Lagos at the Tafawa Balewa Square. Those guys love the game. They've uh, dug deep in their coffers and coughed some pennies to make sure the boys are happy here. 
and some of them are in town to watch. Cheeky from uh, Adedeji, who wants to keep the scoreboard uh, moving, is not striking it nicely. His strike rate is below 100. T20 cricket, you need to keep it at a runner ball, the least. Jan Bout, in his third over, is only given seven runs, a miserly spell. Trying to see what shot the batter is coming through with. Tallman, good talent. Full toss, hit straight down the ground. And it's a fine stop there. Such balls sometimes do pick wickets. Unlucky for the few there. <laughs> and it will be two runs from this one. A nice job here to finish that over. Five from it. And it's 74 for three after 13 overs. Nigeria needing 48 from seven overs at 6.86 .6 run rate per over. This is the moment in the match when Namibia started to step on the gas and Nigeria will do something about this. They need to step up as well at the end of this stage here. Big swing and misses that one. And Cherson, knowing and understanding the needs at this moment, will have to keep his shape. It's a dot ball, the most needed one by Namibia. It's Sean who have gone for eight from his first over. Back here in his second spell. Hoping to tighten the screws here for Namibia. They know it. This game can swing in a pendulum. Into the gap. They will want to. Is it there for the take? No is the call. Some intensity here on this field. At this stage in the match, after 13.1 overs were bowled, Namibia was 68 for four. In the zone, full face of the bat, just one run, there are four. Nigeria for the taking. Big arms. Namibia doing everything possible. Squeezing this game, making life difficult. Required rate is climbed back to 7.08. Got a hand on to that one. Unlock it. Nigeria keeps climbing. They will need a big over anytime soon. They know it. These Namibians fighters. Nigeria in a good position for the first time in the last two days. They want to. Will they get it? Yes, they will. Brilliant piece of running between these two. Smart cricket here. The fielders are all in the dip. Chip it in the middle and let's chase. If we're not getting the boundary, we're running hard. Five runs from that over. Toss far with one ball to spare.
And that brings us to the end of that over. Five from it. It's 79 for three after 14 overs. Nigeria would need 43 runs from 36 deliveries. It's getting tighter at the end. We have a thrilling finish on card here. For the first time in the match, the required rate moves to seven for the Nigerians. And like I said, at this similar stage, yes, Nigeria, Nigeria had uh, Namibia in all sorts of trouble with the Namibians on 76 for five. And now Nigeria just three runs better. They've got 79 for three after 14. 36 balls left, and there's a whole lot to play for. We are having as good as a full T20 match on our cards now. Let's go, Namibia. Full toss. Does he cream it all the way? All he holds out. Yes, the full tosses do pick wicket sometimes. And that is the end of Ridwan Abdul Karim. Not enough muscle, not enough power behind that. A freebie, a buffet, boundary ball given to him. And uh, he hits it straight into the hands of the fielder. What a way for Nicole Lertieton to make inroads into this batting lineup of the Ogas. Four down. The Nigerians looks like they're listening to my commentary on the pitch. I say, let's go, Namibia. And they pick up a wicket. Look at this. Begging to be hit. But he hits it straight to the throat of the fielder. Innocent, time. this is the moment. This is the moment that this game is going to change from here. The man, the big man, is trolling in him. His name is Prosper Useni. He loves to bat against the spinners and he loves to hit them big. Will he be able to find two big overs for Nigeria and set them up for the last three overs? Time will tell. As the captain who have gotten the wicket, it, could that wicket be a blessing for Nigeria? We will find out. It is Prosper Useni who jogs in, batting alongside Cheson Adedeji. One wicket brings another. Ridwan Abdul Karim, a guilty party, didn't look interested today with the bat. He got a couple of volleys, he didn't tuck them away. Prosper Hussein, he came in at one drop yesterday. He was dismissed for zero. A diamond duck for him yesterday. And today he's facing the captain, Nicole Loftieton. Ah, he goes first ball downtown. He goes all the way and he's caught for zero. Prosper Husseini, diamond duck yesterday, golden duck today. Nigeria all out of sorts, all over the place and nowhere. It's five down. What a moment for Namibia. The Nigerian duck out in shocks. Quiet times, they know this Prosper Husseini's wicket. They know the boys got the ability to take things away from any team, but that is not the case. It's Lofty Ilton who will smile at last year. Two from two. And Namibia are scrolling back and crawling back into this game. However, the big, tall, lanky man, Isaac Okwe, was strolling to join Cheson Adedeji. Now, not much with the ball. A lot expected of him. Most experienced player on this side at the moment. He will have to stand up and be counted for Nigeria. It's 43 required from 5.4 overs. I feel that Nigeria are going to be buckling under pressure here. Big hitter, give yourself a chance. Don't go big, first up. Look at the catch. He had a lot of uh, height on it. A lot of air was like a plane in the air, but landed safely into the hands of that man at the boundary. A good catch taken by Nico Davin at the boundary. When you come through as a big hitter and around that, don't show intentions up front. Tickle them around, make them spread the field, let them give you some nice feeding positions. Because he's not been bowling, good deliveries. Young Nicole Lofty Eton. Anywhere else in the world, it would have been taken apart. And Rigdwan Debt Karim falls to a full toss. Big man Prosper Hussein, he fast ball up. He doesn't give himself a chance to see what is happening around. And he falls, and then a ball of a century given to Isaac Okpe. And that's what happens when a baller picks up two. This was the hat trick ball. He survives it, but it was the best ball he has bowled today. 
because his feeling is in rhythm now because he's got three wickets to his name for a man who doesn't bowl a lot for the Namibians. And here, Isaac Okpe will be under pressure with every dot ball getting the run rate up. <laughs> Interesting. I know Chabe wants the wicket keeper to, to use an ailment. He's not happy about it. He knows John Nicole is getting plenty of bounce and how dangerous that can be for wicket keeper. Pretty much right, umpire, trying to save the keeper. Keeper should know better in the circumstances. Hopefully, Jean-Pierre Koza had words to say in the first innings. He's a fiery character on the park. He's saying some more now. I don't want players getting into the bad books of the officials, the umpires in particular. You get an offense here, you get a ban there. You don't want to be that player who suffers the brunt of the umpires. But I know Chabi is a good man. He's had a, a grin on his face as he meted out the rightful direction on how things should go in this game. And it's Namibia on the back foot. I tell you, eight part over needed now. Isaac Okpe off the mark after facing out three deliveries. And for me, if Nigeria lose today, they'll have themselves to blame. They played to the gallery. This is not a national team trial. This is not a West African Cup. This is the African Games. And you're playing Namibia. You're not playing Rwanda. No discredit to Rwanda. You're not playing anybody else. Mali, Seychelles, Cameroon. You are playing Namibia, the top-ranked associate in the world, and you come out to bat like this, thinking that three bills on offer, you're going to pay the price. I am sorry. 80 for five. After 15 overs is the score for the Ogres. New bowler in the park, Andre Klazinga. Andre Kazlinga has already bowled and bowled very well. Finest of edges. That's that run away to the boundary. The chase is on. The chase is good and stopped nicely by Jack Thomas Brosso. Andy, I can tell you a more beautiful story. At the same stage, Namibia had 80 for 5 and Nigeria 80 for 5. Whoever holds the pressure will carry the day. I don't want to be in any of the dugouts. It's too much pressure there. Namibia know a victory here will take them into the semi-finals and box out. Tanzania. Simon Petros into his third over. Big, big booming drive, but if you're in the deep, long off, does well to keep it simple and clean. It's three already from three deliveries. Cheson Adediji, that moment of his career where he needs to stand up and be counted. No gain saying Cheson has been around long enough, experienced enough to know what to do in these times. Goes back. And across, and his boat disappointing here for him. Not much here can he offer. It's 83 for six. Another wicket here for Nigeria. They play themselves into a very good position and giving it away at the end here. It's still not over. It is the captain himself who joins his brother. Now both of them will have to carry the big country. 
Here you go again. There for the hit. It stays low. But he played right across it. Shesua Dereji. The Okwe brothers now are the craze. Can both of them just score 39 runs required from this game? They are good enough. They are batters. They should score just 39 runs. That is all Nigeria is asking from these two brothers. Let's see how they can work out this family meeting to favor their beloved country, Nigeria. I am losing all the faith. I am a believer, a strong believer, and I believe in the Almighty. But uh, divine intervention here will do a lot of work to help Nigeria cross the line from here. They have dug themselves deep in a hole. Endurance of him here, the former captain of the Nigerians, is trying to give them a pity party. I tell you, cricket is not a home for pity parties. They've got the work to do. They must do the job. They had a chance to do the job early on in the innings. And now they are knees deep. Namibia has made them grow with the ball. I agree with you, clearly innocent. However, these two still have it in them. And we will have to rely on them to carry it through. They've played themselves into this position. And they have to find a way out of it. They have what it takes. They've got the potentials. The question is, can those potentials be actualized today? The tail of the tape is Namibia on top with Kla Simon Petras. I beg your pardon, with Kla Zinga bowling. Andre. He wants a single and he gets it quick on his toes. Run out opportunity. Just misses that one. And it's end of the over. The 16th over is 85 for 6. 37 required from 24 deliveries. The Okwe brothers will have to walk around this. Brilliant field in there. Namibians not giving anything away. We're into the 17th over. Sylvester Okbe from here. He has to be nine power over required. They have to get it now or never. Another single. John Nicole experience both beautifully three wickets from him another dot
Goes big, but protection out there. They want his second. Fumbles it. They will get the second. But might not be enough. That boundary will have to come through at some point in this over. And Jan Nico, love the 18, has done well so far. Into his last two delivery. Big swing and misses that one. Quick hands there. Behind the storm, Kose. Sylvester Okwe. His keeper. And the rates climb to 10 per over. Sylvester Okpe and his uh, big brother Isaac Okpe have got a job to do for the Nigerians. They need 11 runs per over right on from here. Namibia will be smiling. They have a grin on their face. They know they are right on top of this one unless the two Okpe brothers explode in some fashion. Edged. This does this run out to the boundary, a boundary that the Nigerians need. Oh yes, it's the boundary. They need all the luck. Runs will be runs from everywhere. I agree with you. From everywhere, from anywhere, it's the runs that matter. But trust me, innocent. It's 29 required. It is possible if you put your, your mind to it. But not in this format. You need two, three boundaries and over. For the next, within the next 12 balls to have a chance here. You can't play this way if you want to win this game. You got to go for it. You got to go big. I am afraid Isaac Okpe hasn't gotten anything in the middle of his bat. Even the boundary struck it was an inside edge that beat the keeper and everybody else. And the chase was on. The chase was in vain. Ah, he gives the chance in there. Who wants that? Not taken the run through for two years. Like we said, anyhow and anywhere uh, that the Ogas can get the runs, they will take them. It's going to be hurting for Steve Ticolo and his technical bench. When they lose this one. Because they had it for the taking. Simon. It's a type of match that the match is going to go down to the wire. But for Nigeria, they are leaving it a little too late, the Nigerians. And well, well, well. Let's see what happens with the balls left in the match. Swinging across the line. He should have played that one inside out. There's bubbly, bubbly, hot fingers in the deep and it's running quickly, chance for a run out. The two Okpe brothers make it home safe and alive. Already nine from that over. They will have to work extremely hard here. I've seen a lot of happening cricket possibilities, but it's been a brilliant over. That's 10 from the over. And we are into the last two overs. It's 99 for 6. It's 12 deliveries to come. And it's 23 runs required.
99 for six. <laughs> Just 11 runs net every over. They have four wickets in hand. This game, if you look at it again and look at it closely, and if you're the Nigerian analyst, you very well know it's winnable. I agree with you, Innocent. Perhaps just 15 runs too many. And seeing the way Prosper and Isaac Danladi, the player who is set, gave that wicket away. And now we are in this state. But again, this is cricket. It's 12 deliveries and it's 23 runs. So anything is possible here. The skipper will have to trust his levers. Eleven needed. This is the most important over of this match. With the hundred coming up, Nigeria will dream and live to remember this match. Whatever the result it is, they will know. If they lose, they will know we had Namibia against the ropes. And they don't want to stay on the fence. It's trying to hit it down the line. It's not there for that shot. Hit it over the covers. Pierce it through the offside there. Stamped. Let him take a walk. Isaac Okpe. Bye bye. See you again after the rest day tomorrow. You're done and dusted for today. Very smart ball in there. Saw him come down the line and dotted it in. The keeper, Kose, did a clean job with the ball. Makes no mistake about that one. Smiles all over the faces of Namibians. Knowing they've been pushed to the ropes and they've managed to fight their way back. A brilliant piece of bowling and keeping here. No thanks to the Nigerian batters who've made it look easy. It's Tawo Mohamed who throws him for Nigeria. And if you ask me again, if I was the man in that Nigerian dugout, an analyst to Steve Ticolo, who I've, I have been lucky to work with before as a media manager for the Uganda team, I would be sending in Prosper now, not then. Just two hits away from victory for the Nigerians. Two hits away, if you listen to me, two sixes here will give them the initiative and they will be on the front foot. But for now, 22 runs required from nine balls. It's becoming a tall order with 14 per over needed. Big, big appeal there for nothing. <laughs> Chance for a catch. Doesn't carry parried by the man in the covers is in some sort of pain. Nigeria should try and run for everything because there is nothing to lose for them going forward. It is all or nothing. tougher 20 runs from 11 balls big hit does this go all the way a welcome hit that they do require from the big left hander Taiwo Mohammed did the work with the job only given one over and here he comes through with the big six they need in a telling time this game will break your heart will make you cry give you sleepless nights and you'll have nightmares for the rest of your life End of the 19th, 108 for 7.
14 runs in it in the over, and here is the pace man. Big shot up front. He puts a finger to eight. Does it reset to the boundary? Oh, yes. Make that 10 from five. Lift up your spirits, Andy. You look down and dusted. This game is not over as a My contest. My spirit is there, innocent. My spirit is there. I've always said it. They have it in them. The qu question is, when will they make it happen? It's five balls and it's 10 runs. The captain has got opportunity to lift the spirit of Nigerians back home. Chance for two there. They run hard for the first. They're going for the second. And yes, oh yes, they get through two. This is good running between the weakest. Eight more runs needed from four balls, two boundaries away. It is the captain's innings here that will matter for the Nigerians. Stay firm, stay collected. Captain Cool is in charge. Sylvester Okpe against Sean. Remind you of those moments, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, <laughs> Captain Cool. Is that what Sylvester Okpe would respond to this one? He goes down the track again. Chance for one, they run through. Yes, they're coming for the second. Take it on. Take it on. The throw is not good. The throw is not accurate. There's nothing to lose if you take two. Because now they're going to be bowling too. Taiwo. Taiwo Mohamed can hit the ball big. Trust me, he's done it before. We've seen him. He just takes two power shots. And Nigeria could be in this, making history. Uh, will it happen? I'm afraid, Andy, every time you've said somebody can hit the ball, they've done nothing. Well, he's got the ability. He's got the potentials. I always finish with the potentials are there, but can they actualize them? The ideal cricketing brain here tells you, get the man who's been there seeing the ball as big as a football to be the one on strike, and that is the captain. Here is Taiwo dancing down the wicket. He creams this one through the covers. Four runs. He listens to Taiwo. It is four runs for victory for the Ogaz. I told you, Innocent. I told you he's done it before. He can do it again. It's a matter of how well can they hold their nerves on this one. It is possible. Taiwo knows it. And I can tell you everyone in Nigeria now sitting at the edges of their seats. Look at the dugout of Nigeria. They believe it can happen. They know it's possible. You can't beat the 11th ranked team in the world. It's two deliveries to come. This is cricket. And it's three runs required. Three runs required from two balls. This game called cricket. I've seen it. I've been part of it. My heart has been broken many times. I've celebrated victories. Will it be it for Nigeria? It's Taiwo Muhammad, the man with the bat. And Nigeria ranked 38 will be looking to get plenty of points from this one. Should they make history? Will it be Namibia? Here is a Sean. Well played inside out. They'll run through. Two runs to win from the last ball. From two ball from the last ball. Two runs to win and one run to go for the super over. Is the captain now? He has to decide. Do I get a single? Knowing Namibia have got the firepower, or do I go for the win? Do I swing my bat? Do I get that boundary? What will it be? I need to look at those playing conditions again. I don't know if there is a super over in the group stages. All it's just to share the points and say draw, a tie. So I don't know if the Nigerian dugout are aware of the playing conditions. Everybody on his feet in the Nigerian camp. Steve Ticolo remaining cool behind the chairs. The black master. Steve Ticolo right there in your frame. Look at Prosper Husseini. And this is a Sean to the skipper. Mankind, dead ball, more pressure. I'm loving this moment. You want to be here in words, Accra, Achimota. What's being exchanged by Taiwo Muhammad? Not afraid for the Namibians. Not afraid of them. He's got words to share with the baller, Sean. Patrick Makumbi Mosoke will have words with the two. He calls them through to come through. Says, come on, guys, let's play. 
Even the umpires are under pressure to make decisions or not. No ways. No ways. <laughs> Leave the umpires out of your small talk. <laughs> this is the ball. He hits it big. Chance for a catch. Is it a six? Yes! yes! It's a victory for Nigeria! It is a victory for Nigeria! The much needed one! We talked about it! They have the ability! It's Captain Sylvester Okbe! The captain tool who has done it for Nigeria! History, history here! It's team ranked number 38 in the world! Who have beaten the team ranked 11th in the world! And it's Nigeria who will celebrate! They did it in the last ball! This is cricket at its best! This is T20! Disappointment for Namibia! And happy moments for Nigeria. I can tell you now, the crowd back home will be elected. I've been seeing the charts. I've been following the social media. They know these players can play cricket. And trust me, innocent, we spoke about it, and it has happened. It's disappointment here all around. But more celebration for Nigeria. It's been a big show. Very good cricket here at the end. It is there for the take, Nigeria. 126 for 7 in a lot of 20 overs. And Nigeria wins by three wickets. That is it, full toss, and the captain goes big, opening the face of that bat. That would go all the way. He saw it, landed outside. He was 14 required. He got more than it. What a captain's innings. I might be making a few wrong calls, but I'm here. I'm in this team, and I'm the skipper of this side, and I'm here till the end. Well done, Sylvester Okwe, and congratulations to Nigeria. Sylvester Okwe is taking a lot of beating from the comms box. He's taking a lot of beating from everybody watching the critics baying for his blood. Silver Stockpe says, I'm the skipper. Leave matters of captain. Say to me, I'll take this team home. You have nothing on me. Andy, you had your time as a captain. It's my time now. It's my show. He does a fantastic job. The skipper of the Nigerian yellow grains. Always the case, Innocent. Always the case. It has to come down to the man who's got the bat in hand and is the skipper himself. The man who has been waiting long enough. Innocent, I told you about those potentials. The question is, when do they actualize them? Here, what a game. That's the batting card for you there. Suleiman Rusha, we didn't get going at the top. Daniel Ajekwan, Isaac, Dan Laddie managed some partnership. 20 and 28 respectively. And here we also see Cheswan Dedeji with just 12. And at the end there, Isaac Okbe just 12 with his keeper holding up at the end. 22 of 15 deliveries. Taiwo Mohamed helping out in that boundary, criminal through the covers. It's Nigeria who managed to cross the line here in the last delivery and would win by three wickets. The bowling cards for you there. The man in the middle there, the skipper, bowled beautifully. Got three wickets for 20 runs of four overs. And here we also have Simon Petris, one for 23 from four. Hendrik Klasinga bowling just one over, one wicket, and considered six. The question would have been, should he have continued there? Jan Corded Bart, one wicket for 18 from four overs. And Sean, one for 30 from three. Only four extras from this innings. Nigeria batting beautifully. 126 for seven. And that's the summary for you. Dylan Otto, 42 of 41. John Nicole, the skipper, 27 of 26. Malan, 15 of 12. Brilliant bowling figures there by Isaac. Dan Laddy, 2 for 10 from 4 overs. Prosper Hosseini, 1 for 4 from 1. Isaac Okbe, 1 for 13 in that last over. And it's Nigerian bats in there with flashes at the end. Isaac Dan Laddy, 28 of 21. Sylvester Okbe, finishing strong. The captain. 22 of 15 deliveries. And here we have the allies before the post match presentation.
presentation. This has been the end of uh, game number six here at the African Games as the men's cricket makes its ball in these uh, African Games. It's a beautiful game of cricket. We saw Namibia bat first and getting 121 for seven. Vo played to Namibia. But at the end of the day, it is Nigeria that crossed the line, getting 126 for seven to win by three wickets. First things first, Lofty Eton, please come through. Tough game for you out here today. Just take us through the game and your deliberations on what happened. Yeah, look, um, obviously not the result we wanted, but all credit to Nigeria for a good game. Um, I think they they were the better team for longer in certain areas of the game today and it paid off for them today, so yeah. A victory for you, a loss for you yesterday and a loss for you today. You are not out of the competition, but you need Zimbabwe to stand tall and a bit up on the other team on match day three. Your ambitions in this tournament to win the gold, still very much alive or you feel you're done and out? No, I still believe we can win, win the competition. I mean, going to Wednesday's game against Tanzania and give them a proper beating, we still stand a chance to end second in our pool. So um, I think the hope is still there. In the final group game you play, what would you love to see change in your ranks and happen your way? Yeah, look, um, I think we're going to stick to the main guys in the last game again. So, um, yeah, look, uh, we gave a few opportunities to certain players this uh, today's game, but I think going into Tanzania's game, it's going to be a full strength side. We all said good luck to you in your game and hard luck today. And now through, coming through is the captain. Crazy game of cricket today. Were you happy to, the, to be the one to make the big decisions with the bowling when people thought that uh, you're not giving the ball to the right people and right at the end to win it for them and then say, I am silencing all the critics here? Yeah, well, um, it was a really good and intense game. Um, we wanted to bat first, but we ended up fielding. So we just knew we had to restrict as much as we can and it's, it helped. And uh, um, to be honest, the Namibians played really well. Um, they held it at some points, but... We just, we just need to um, play minimal errors and see what comes out of it. And at the end, uh, we came up. And then uh, your performance at the end. Just talk about your performance there with your brother, with the required rate going up to 11. What was the talk going out in the middle? And how relieved are you? You are the man that pulls it off. Yeah, um, like I said, it was a really intense moment. Um, at that time, we just knew we just need to believe, uh, believe in ourselves and become as much as possible. And um, that really helped for us because um, for... for at that point, we just we just need to be close to, closer to the um, required run rate as much as we as much as we could, and at the end, it paid off. Thank you very much, keeper. Please take your leave. To give out the player of the match is uh, the Secretary General of Nigeria Cricket Federation, Mr. Sani Mohammed. Please come through. A lot of contestants for this play of the word. Of course, uh, you got to give it to uh, Nicole Lofty Eton there with three wickets for four, three wickets in his four overs for 20 runs. He also got 27 from 26. Again, uh, you look through and you see the couple of other big performances. Uh, Dylan, they are getting 42. But the player of the match is a guy whose uh, four overs went for 10 runs and picked up two wickets. And that guy came through with the bat, he scored 28 runs. The man from Kaduna State, Mr. Yeah. Isaac Danladi. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Isaac Danladi, very well played. Just take us through your match. Um, first of all, when I went in, I have to I have to back up myself to see I can play much better for the team. And thank you for the team that they believe in me and I can do it. That's why they push me to play the hard. And again, you turn up with the ball, you deliver a big performance before the years, before coming to this tournament. You've been a fringe player, not getting the big chances in, but you get your chance and then you show the coach, Steve Ticolo, that you are willing to fight for this team and be the man that wins matches for the team. How happy are you that from being a fringe player, you're now a core member of the side? Yeah, as I said earlier, the team believe in me as after the Namibian tournament we played last year. So I have to push myself more to show the team that I can perform for the team and Thank God I did it today. All thanks to God, seriously.
You're allowed to use some pigeon now. Say something to the people watching you from Nigeria. Over 200 million people there. Na songu ba? Yezumuka fara. Bamuda uba. Yezumu fara. Very well said. Good luck to you and thank you. That is it from the match presentation. It's game undusted. Innocent dollars is my name. But coming up is Kenya, is Ghana versus Uganda.